Richard. Yeah. You and me, we've been in this business, paint business, for about 80 years combined. Now, I don't even like to think about it. I know, but you're, you're like 100 years old. Right. Anyway. It's been around a long time. I know. And if you think back on all these years, even maybe before you were born, and that's a long time ago, that's a million years ago. I remember that, though. Yeah, I do, too. I saw pictures of it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, what do you think the greatest innovation in paint in the paint industry would, it, would be? Greatest invention in the paint industry over the last 100, 100 years, years or 150 years or whatever, ever. I don't have to think long. That's good. The greatest invention in the paint business would be a can of paint. Really? Yeah. Really. You I mean, like, like you take a can, a of, can paint? of paint, you take a can of paint, you, your house gets dirty, you send your wife out, you paint the house. Uh-huh. You know? If the rooms get dirty, you don't want to put wallpaper on them, you put paint. You paint the walls in your house. You and can use all different colors. You can have a different color for every room, or oh, you can wow. paint the whole house the same color, but it's the greatest invention ever would have to be a can of paint. Well, I agree with you, but how would you ever get the paint on if you didn't have a paintbrush? A paintbrush, oh yeah, I didn't you think know, about that. These things, they go to China and get these hog bristles, and they put them together, and then they... You know, you stick it in the paint, and it holds all this paint, and then you can brush it on, then you clean them up, and you're all done. And you can uh, do whatever you want and put it away so that you never have to get rid of it. Yeah. So that's right. the other that's, thing. That's probably the uh, what you think is the next best invention. But what about something that's come out in the last 10 years? This is a real no-brainer. Now, I've seen it in different colors. This one's pink. The handy paint pail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is that thing? Well, this is this is so good. You don't have to worry about spilling your paint because it, it fits your hand. I mean, it fits everybody's hand. You huh. can put your hand in there and use it to put your paintbrush in there. Hey, huh. look. Huh. It even huh. holds your paintbrush I'll in be. place when you're, when you're uh, going to get a beer. Know what I mean? You can like, yeah. Put. Could you do other things with it? Oh, it's just it's so many things you can do with a handy paint pail. I, I mean, mean, could you like? <laughs> How about that? I never drink thought up? about that, but you got it, Cease. I mean, you have got it. That yes. tastes pretty good. You know what? Yeah. There's no aftertaste. No aftertaste. Holds a lot of beer. Less filling. Less filling. Right? It tastes yeah. great. Holds a lot of beer. Huh. And you know what? This company is so innovative. They keep bringing out new products to go along with their handy paint pail. What about this thing over here? Oh, let me see. What you got there? Huh. That's the old handy ladder pail. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I think. I think. beer. Yeah, that's good. You're very innovative there, see. And you know what? I When I take that stuff out, yeah. I, I, I wash my windows with that. I can go them up as high as I want to uh, go. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. And look, they've even got these little things in here that you throw away when they get dirty. Yeah. You don't get your paint pail all messed up. I know, and that would be a real big beer uh, mug, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be a great mug. Yeah. Yeah, you could put, you could put, you could use wine. You could use this for keeping your wine cool, too. Well, what about that thing over there? Behind you. Oh yeah. Oh, Is yeah. that uh? Can you chip golf balls in there? Well, yeah, that'd make a good, that'd make a good target, wouldn't it? Just uh, set that out there a little ways in your backyard, and chip, chip golf balls in there. Uh, they use it for a, a paint tray. And then, if you had a little bit smaller that's, head, that's nice for. Uh, that's it would nice probably for, work as a Halloween costume. Or New Year's Eve. Yeah. Whatever. And then. This one, this is a little, uh, what do they call that? It's uh, like a handy roller. 
And your roller cup. On the uh, roller cup, yeah. you could also use this as a drool cup. Look, fits that right might there. Might be a good place to. Now look here. <laughs> I mean, it that's works. Good. It works good. And then you got a liner. You got a Throw it away. You never have to clean a that's right. handy handy roller. Yeah. Pail. This 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 might be something new there. Well, I tell you, if they went public. I'd probably invest a couple hundred bucks in some of their stock. You would? How would you? How about you? Yeah, I, I think I might even go a little more than that. Huh, well, other than that, what the heck else is going on? I don't know. How you been doing? Uh, I've been doing great. You been painting any lately? No, I don't paint anymore. I, don't I hire either. a contractor. I don't either. Yeah, I hire a contractor. <laughs> Anybody who wants to use this stuff, That's if right. you hire a contractor, let the contractor That's go. Right. Otherwise, That's right. the heck with it. Well, it's been great being with yeah. you. Let's uh, maybe we can put some ribs on the barbecue back here and yeah. uh, uh, have a couple more beers and drool into one of those handy roller pails. Sounds good to me. Well, thanks for being here, Richard. And all right, buddy. You know it's great to always be with good you. to see you again. Yeah, it's great to be seen. Say hello to the guys. Okay, great.